this is not a conspiracy theory to the Hebrews lights. You uncover this. Some people act as though when they find a dark icon, they are uncovering some long hidden secret. You know, that some out there will insinuate that there has been a conspiracy to hide dark icons uh, and that the truth is now starting to trickle out. The reality, however, is that these things were never hidden. You know, these dark images were never hidden. And those who sincerely argue otherwise honestly are telling us more about how limited their own personal experiences were. Praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Bracha Hakwadash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Also, I want to give us uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to the shalom to the elect, peace to the elect. I want to go back on this video, um, inspired by um, the apostles of Great Millstone live stream. And it brought me back. Uh, in fact, yesterday I was thinking about doing a video, a second edition, and that confirmed it. You know, looking at the live stream, and um, you know, I just wanted to go back and touch on, you know, Vocab Malone and his crew, um, his his way of trying to um, stop the truth, his way of putting a a, a uh, block in front of what we're learning and what he's trying to do by saying that the images was already there okay and we should have known the images was already there you know that's like somebody who's an astrologist who know about certain planets and certain things that's already there but they left it out when we went to school when you, when you went to science class and you never knew anything about it right so it's the same thing um, these so called black images was hitting from us and even going to Hollywood that's why I put the Charleston Heston uh, video clip in you know because if those they, they knew that the images were black so called black why didn't they, why didn't they use the uh, characters of the bible as black and even though that was a, 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 a racist time which it still is this is now 2020. Why didn't they redo it and put the so-called blacks, so-called black-looking people in there? Why didn't they use to put the black Egyptians in there? You know, why didn't they put uh, everybody according to the Bible that was black? So we have to understand that they put the white Jesus up. So putting the white Jesus up will automatically make us think that his followers was also so so-called white. And this is also the problem with white supremacy and everybody who's trying to keep it alive. And our own people have such self-hatred that they would rather Jesus be a so-called Arab-looking person, olive colors they call it, than a so-called black man. They all say, oh, he wasn't white. We know that, but he wasn't black. This is the self-hatred. Our own people do that. And even white supremacists do that that know that the truth without a doubt has come out see what happened is the truth has come out 
without a doubt that is is has come out. You can't deny it anymore. So now he's olive. Now the olive colored people were the so called Middle Eastern what they call today, which Middle Eastern people were so called dark. And let's say some of them were so called mixed because Ar Arabic Arab means mixture. Let's say they were. Some of them were. We know of course the John the Revelator. He wrote in Revelation one and two when he uh when the scripture says the angel called, came to him and told him to write in a book all the things that he saw his feet was like uh, fine brass as if they burned past tense in a furnace which means he was very dark but people would rather him be uh, look like a people that America hates right than to be uh, the person they really look like which shows you that these people hate the Arabs right Everybody hates these so-called Arabs and say the Arabs are terrorists and a threat to American soil. But they would rather put the image of Jesus on somebody that looks like that than to have them look like us. Because this is a shame to white supremacy. And they hate it. They hate the fact that we're so-called black. I mean, that uh, the, the people of the Bible were so-called black. Okay, I'm going to read a scripture real quick. This is Luke um, 8 and 17. Let's see what it says here. Luke 8 and 17. It says, For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Right? Nothing is, not, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Uh, you can only hide it for so long. We was them so-called uneducated Negroes and, and Native Americans, especially the natives, the, the northern tribes too, okay? The northern tribes, I'm talking about the, the hardcore northern tribes that look like so-called Mexicans, okay? That have that features. They are pushed with white Jesus, you know, that was forced on them. So you got to understand that anytime you're pledging your allegiance to a flag at five years old you're put in the, uh, in the school system and it's what they teach you from that young mind is what you believe to be true and they understand once you indoctrinate it with something like that at such a young age it will be hard for you to depart you know Christmas was a lie the Easter was a lie the Santa Claus which come from the true Saint Nicholas who was a so-called black man Ishtar, Easter, that's a lie look at, look at all the things they lied now if they lied to us about white Jesus they put Charleston Heston and the, the so-called white people in all these biblical movies what else have they lied about? you know that's a question what else have they lied about? they've lied, they've lied about so many things you mean to tell me we now have to sit back and say well wait a minute They've lied about all these things and now all of a sudden they're willing to come out and tell the truth because now the truth is, is come out already. You have no choice but to tell the truth. So what about the Gentiles? You lied, about, lied to us about that too? You can't believe nothing. White supremacists, biblical, let me say, biblical false Christianity uh false biblical Christianity you can't believe nothing that those seminarists <laughs> if that's even a word schoolgoers teach you you can't they, you can't believe anything if they lied about if they lied about Christopher Columbus right they lied about America number one they lied about America well number one they lied about Jesus and what he looked like and who he was and, and everything about him like they lied about and when I say that they you know who I'm talking about. When they lied about Jesus, they lied about our captivity. They tried to take that back, you know, for our slavery. They didn't even give us the full understanding of what happened with that. So they lied about Christopher Columbus. They lied about all the images, the artwork. They lied about the inventors who invented every, damn near everything. They lied about everything. So you mean to tell me now that the images are coming out we're supposed to put a halt on it and say okay we understand 
We understand the black Madonnas and black images. They're all out now. We understand. We're supposed to just understand that and stop it and we'll take your word for it now. I don't think so. As, uh, the truth is coming out. We're not taking your word for, for Jack, you know, for anything. Okay? We're not going to take your word for anything else you have to tell us. Okay? Okay, this is 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. It says, casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shah. You know, these, those crazy, uh, you know, these pictures that they put up everywhere you go. This man has the nerve to say that the uh, images was already uh, out and made public. It's just if you lived in a rural area, it wasn't quite authorized in some instances, so they had to repaint them. But if you lived in a rural area, you know, you wouldn't have known unless you ventured out. And this is the hypocrisy I see with um, Edom and his wickedness. This man has literally put us in ghettos, has literally set up crappy schools for us to learn right he has literally gave us bad food you know to uh, cripple our understanding you know because when you eat bad you don't you know your body cannot function like it should he's, he's literally done these things he's literally shot us up with vaccines he's done the worst atrocities on the planet and done everything to us and literally took all the images and he even gave us white Jesus and put it in our communities even though vocab is now saying it was already there now I'm having a confused I'm, I'm having a problem with this you know because if the images was already there what would make them make new images and put them in our neighborhoods and put them in our schools which they're not our schools but technically they gave them to us and put us in these schools what would make them take these images and put them in our schools, put them in these churches for us to look at the art imitates life and for us to look at this and, you know, declare in our spirits that these are the correct images of the Bible and not only of the Bible, but of history, his story. This is sick. This is this is an assault on your mind. OK. This is an assault on your conscience. This is murder on your conscience, man. They assault, this ought to be a charge to literally do that. You ought to be, they ought to be charged for that. And they will be. You will be charged for that. For all the stuff and the wickedness you've done poisoned our minds. There's an, another example. They've sit up there and they've... Um, giving us this GMO food you, you know you got some single mothers and, and parents single fathers as well or families who can't afford nutritious food so what they do they take all the good foods that the, the, the so called wealthy don't want and ship them into the ghettos then they, get, <laughs> then they get into the ghettos and then they sell them at a fair price so the people who are on welfare pretty much have no choice but to go in there and buy this food and then when you get all sick here they come with all the answers saying well there's great foods there's good neighborhoods and great, I mean there's better foods that you can choose from better food we were so uneducated on food on history on ourselves everything but now they got all the answers after you done got sick after you after you damn near in a coma or had a stroke now they're going to tell you how to eat. Now they're going to tell you how to get good food with limited resources. This is crazy. Now they're going to tell us that the pictures exist. Now the pictures exist. Now we should have known after we were destroyed, after we killing each other because we don't see anything better for ourselves. Now they exist. Can you believe that? That's all I have on that shallow wall.